I really like to start these videos on a high note, but I've got to be honest today. My videos suck, y'all! Oh my gosh, I was looking at some of the stuff I'm putting out and it's... It's embarrassing. It, and this is just the reality of where I'm at right now with this channel and what I'm doing. So I guess I have to apologize. I watched a interesting video that uh, Cody over at Taking 20 released. I believe just this morning or within the last day. Uh, I forgot to check the actual release time, but it was it came up on my feed and I checked it out right away. Uh, great, great content he is always putting out. His videos are gorgeous, crystal clear image, crystal clear audio. He is clean and concise and just puts together a fantastic video every single time. And, and I'm looking at my own stuff and going like, oh my god, it's so rough around the edges. It looks so unprofessional and it looks so garbage. It looks garbage to me. And that's okay. I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling funky about it on one level, but on another level, I want to be honest and truthful and I want to grow. I want to get better. I want my videos to get better. I want everything I'm doing about this to get better. And who the hell am I? I'm Gregory. This is 1 in 20 D&D and welcome to d and Daily number 80. It took me 80 of these daily vlogs to figure out that the this sucks. This is terrible, what I'm doing. I, I just, oh God. And on another level, it got me to thinking about how, hey, wait a minute, like, honesty is important. And you know what? Honesty is gonna make your gameplay better. It is going to make your characters better. So I've studied a little bit of acting and one of the things I learned in some of the reading and, and classes that I was in is that you want to be, even though you're, it's all make-believe in acting, you still want it to be as believable as possible. You have to find the truth in a scene or in a, a, a character in order to make that character seem real to the audience. Well, this is the same thing in our role-playing games. Now, in most of our role-playing games, when we're at a table or even if we're on the internet, we're not, we're not really playing to an audience. I mean, unless you're the guys on Roll20 or another stream, and even then, to some degree, you're not playing to an audience unless you want to consider the people at your table your audience, which is legit. I mean, that's fair. Maybe maybe they are your audience to a degree. They're your friends. You're, you're trying to, hopefully you're trying to have fun with them and goof around a bit. Uh, I mean, sometimes you're going to go into deep, meaningful, powerful, heartfelt, like sad or terrifying moments in your games, but most of them are probably going to be more goofy, lighthearted, slapstick kind of stuff, right? One way or the other, you have to find the truth in the moment. The truth of your character, the, the truth of the scene, if you will. And that's going to bring a, a level of depth to your characters. So even though it's all make-believe, even though we're all making it up as we go at the table or you know on our character background or whatever, we want to find the truth in that you want and, and part of it is just being honest the more honest you can be with each other and the more honest you can be with yourself the better your characters are going to come across so here's my honest truth for today i realized today my videos are garbage and i want them to be way like a hundred thousand times better than they are so man i've got a lot of work to do <laughs> i've got a lot of work to do to bring these to the next level. This is a vlog. This is me documenting, sharing my thoughts, my truths, my insights into this process as well as 
gaming and D and D and and role playing games. So so here I am, y'all. I'm out here sharing sharing myself, sharing the reality of my experience. Uh, yeah, I got a lot to work to do. I I am I was I almost was I was thinking, oh, I should just stop doing these all together. And then I thought, you know what, that's not, that's not a really good solution. I made a commitment to myself to do one of these videos every day for a year. So even if they suck right now, I'm going to keep just, I'm just going to keep plowing through this and hopefully getting better. Like my craft, my ability to communicate and not stumble over words and clearly express my ideas all of this is going to help me in the long run and maybe it's maybe it's entertaining in the short run maybe you could laugh at me in the short run right uh, i'm certainly laughing at myself so hey i'm gonna cut this one short uh, the critical role kickstarter they're at nine million two hundred and fifty thousand plus in pledges and I, who knows Maybe they're going to make it to 10 million. I can't wait to see if they do. The last week of a campaign, usually there's a big kind of jump because it's like, it's almost over. Oh my gosh. You better commit if you're going to do it. So let's see what happens over the next eight days, y'all. I am Gregory. This has been 1 in 20 D&D, D and Daily number 80. Thank you for giving me a moment of your time. I hope to see you at a table someday. Until then, keep rolling 20s or 6s, whatever the maximum of your die roll is. And remember, this is a big one. It's important. Think about this. It's your game. Play your way.